Sorry, Mouse. All your tarot are belong to me. I gotta leave and come back to get one. Okay, that should be enough. Time to go and get plastered. I need to do one thing though before I do that. I don't know why this didn't occur to me already. Ah, come on, I wanted to see him go flying. Yeah, I can't do it to him. Unfortunate. I was really hoping. Okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Have you seen the old man who lives here? You mean Granddad? He passed away. His heart finally gave out on him. Oh, man. Looks like he went with his best friend after all. Here, hold on a second. His dog had this leaf in his mouth when we found him. That's the herb Granddad used for his heart medication. Max must have been fetching it for him. Well, I suppose I owe you a great deal. I can't give you much, but I hope you'll accept this. Such a faithful animal. You think Max and Granddad are together in heaven? I do. I'm sure of it. Well, that's really depressing. All right. Yeah, no. Okay, fine. Th that's fine. Okay. I'm not crying. You're crying. You don't bring dogs into this. You don't bring old timers who are just loving their animals into this. Oh, it's the books. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> uh, tavern. That's where I was going, right? Hey, buddy! Here's your ingredients. Although I can't imagine what kind of drink uses this stuff. Oh, it tastes just as extreme as it looks. Popola is the only person I know who can handle it. Anyway, tell Popola I'll have this stuff sent over to the village as soon as it's ready, okay? Got it. Okay. A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. <laughs> yeah, Popola's really something when she starts drinking. Surely you jest. No joke. Once she got so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. Knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? Devla's more of a lightweight. If she has even a little, she starts acting all cute and meowing like a kitten. Devla? For true? 
for true. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. Wild. I know people who do both of those things. Alright, uh, do I have any other quests that I need to do while I'm here? Uh, the answer is no, because I can't get sardines yet. I don't have access to natural rubber. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the sardines, got it. Oh, wrong button. All right. Oh, wait, there was one quest that I hadn't even started yet. That's what it was. I knew I was forgetting something. The postman. The hero of the whatever this place is called people. Ah, just the kid I was looking for. What's up? I've got a letter for the lighthouse lady, and I was hoping you could deliver it. The other postmen, well, they don't really want to deal with her. You don't say... I'd do it myself, but with my bad leg and all. Anyway, sorry to keep bugging you, but can you help? Yeah, absolutely. Sure thing. The lady hardly ever leaves that lighthouse, so you should start there. Oh, and thank you. Okay. Block puzzles and being baby's first puzzle. I was really hoping there'd be another black pearl there. Or at least another rare item like that. I guess it's just a one time thing. Unfortunate. Oh. Apparently my bitrate's not doing so hot right now. Uh. How's my thing going? Yeah, it says I've dropped 13,000 frames during the stream. Which is only 2%, but like, you know, if those were the, within the last 10 minutes. Us around. It's okay, Vice. At least we're helping people. Ah, you are far too soft. And you're just a cranky old man. Book. here again. I thought I'd never have to see you again. <clears throat> oh, you again. Are you alright? You took so much time delivering the mail, my illness has gotten worse. I'm lucky I'm not dead. You truly are a staggering creature. Well, since you're here, I guess I should give you a little something. Another thousand Whoa. gold. I, I can't accept this much. <laughs> it's fine, just take it. Take it and go. But bring the mail quicker next time, and I want to see a smile. Is there no end to this madness? Okay. That's appreciated, I guess? Just confusing? Okay, I just need another 2,000 and I can get it. Get my new blade. Definitely buying from my hometown, though. This place has enough money as is. I could do it now if I wanted to sell the silk. Eh, I won't do it. No, wait. The boss better not be back again. If so, I know I shouldn't, but I'm actually going to try to see what happens if I ram it. Oh, 
It is. <laughs> uh, bye. I just want to see what would happen. Apparently not good. Not good things. That poor boar. It goes through hell because of me. I just hope I know it knows that I appreciate it, so. Hey! Do you have time for a little side job? I'll make the time. What's going on? I was hoping you could go to the area and get an eagle egg for me. Oh ho. It sounds as if someone is brewing up another batch of medicine for an ailing relation. I sure am. You're pretty smart, Vicey. Vicey? The airy is full of shades, so you're the only ones I can ask. <sighs> Come on, Vicey. Let's get moving. The wings of an eagle. I don't know. Apparently, you can sometimes find eagle eggs in places where you find ore. Oh, I know, you can sell them for lots of money, but please don't. Hmm, what have we got today? Which job should I give you first? I've got another job from that seafront postman. Apparently, some cranky old lady is giving him trouble. Okay. I wrote down the client's location on your map. So, head over there to get the details. Well, I'll take care of that one once I head back over there. Probably whenever I do the sardine stuff, to be honest. Do I have enough mutton? Some of the gate guards make a habit of... They claim... Please get that... Nope. Bubba, I've got good news for you. You're gonna get wasted. Today is the day. Hey, Popola. The tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devla and then we'll head on over. She's already there. Today, Papa wants to a new book about a great big tree. There's nothing worse than a sad tree. Such an unusual sound. I feel like I could listen to this song forever. I hear that. Funny how she can't sing it unless she has that crazy drink, huh? from, and yet, somehow it feels oddly familiar. Oh, so beautiful. Reminds me of back when I was a lot younger, it does. Prettier, too. was fun. Hopefully it won't be so long until the next time. Evans, what a thrill. I had no idea those two had that in them. Me neither. That was a fun quest. What squalls in our village now? Well, next time we'll be getting the sword. I won't be selling my stuff for it, just in case the quest needs it. <laughs> that dog was just... okay. Whatever. The 
yeah, no progress here. Magic drop. 500 gold. On the wings of eagles. Everything hurts. Hang in there, okay? I got you some medicine. It's not gonna taste good, but I need you to take it anyway. Don't worry. I can handle it. That's what I like to hear. The next morning. Morning. Hey, how you feeling? Better. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. <sighs> That's really great. Hey, what's that book? Oh, yeah. Guess I should introduce you. I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of Arcane. Oh, hi, Vicey. Wow, second person to use that. <laughs> Now see here, my name is... Vice has been worried about you too. Really? Aw, thanks, Vicey. It appears impudence is the fruit of this family tree. Anyway, I need to go talk to Popla. Stay here and get some rest, alright? Alright. Hey, I was thinking about trying to make stew for you. Do we have any venison or wheat? Venison, yes, we no. S stew? Um, I don't want her to feel bad, but her cooking is... <sighs> Alright, Yona. Let me see if I can track down your ingredients. Really? Thanks. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm ready to make that stew anytime. Okay. Well, I don't have wheat. I won't until later. I'm not sure how Ingredients much Ingredients for a home-cooked meal, hmm? Is there something you want to say? Oh, no. No, no. Nothing at all. Look, I know Yona's not a four-star chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of brother do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? I guess not. Just, well... Good luck. Yeah. Alright. I figured I was gonna stop here, but I kinda wanna just keep going. The game's fun. I really do enjoy it. I can probably keep going until 3pm at least. Another half hour. I can catch those sardines now, so that's good at least. Oh. First time from this side. Hey, boar. Oh, that's so entertaining. Was you welcome? No. Hope you come. We've got precious. No. See you later. Who? This one here. If you're ready to get serious about fishing, you'll need more than just a lure. A good variety of bait is essential. Ok, 
Come back if you... Actually, before we go fishing... But it's the first request I've made in ages! How dare you deny it! You can't leave! Who's going to tend the lighthouse? How much longer will you force me to toil here? I must go to him. I need to board a ship as soon as possible. No way, lady. It's back to work for you. Now get going. <gasps> um... I mean... What's going on? <sighs> There's no one else in town who knows how to keep the lighthouse burning. We... we need her. <sighs> Look, she seems to trust you. Think you could maybe talk her into it? I suppose a visit is an order, yes? That's not what I was expecting, to be honest. Before we do that, let's get to fishing. Little gorm. Sardine? Yep. I have to catch ten though, so. This one's been wild. And it's a pail. Oh, that pales in comparison to what I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to buy more lugworms. more but I'm not gonna be able to do that yet uh, might as well go see the lady now I have no idea if this is gonna be me coming and going on the side anyway so I might as well uh, yes Chow I'm replicating a lot of fish just took me like an hour to figure out how to do that. <laughs> oh, she's laying down this time. Um, ma'am? <sighs> oh no. As I feared, it's the black straw. In an advanced case at that. So that's the illness she kept mentioning. Oh, you. I suppose you want to tell everyone about my illness, hmm? Well, don't. I don't fear death. I've lived long enough and I'm weary of it. I'm weary of being alone. But though I don't fear death, I do have one regret. I wanted to see my love one last time. I've spent 50 years working the lighthouse for these people, and now they won't let me leave. I just want to see him. I want to board this ship that will take me to him. Oh, cruel world. So it's a dying wish now, is it? We should help her out, Vice. We've better things to do than stay here and operate a lighthouse. You'll have to convince the villagers to help. Come on, let's start with the postman. All right. This is not where I thought this quest was going. Listen, about the lighthouse lady, could you reconsider? 
You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... Wait, she's dying? Yeah. So if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! <sighs> Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, no, what? Hmm. Methinks the postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. I can't believe she's going to die. I suppose there's no need for this now. Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Uh, work! Just... just some work! Wait, are you writing a letter? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? What? Well, that's because... Uh, um... The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Well, crap. Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. I mean, I've been there a couple times, actually. I kind of robbed you at one point. There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs. A sizable bundle. My dearest beloved, again I put pen to paper when all I desire is to see with my own eyes. How do the days find you? I'm faring well enough, my illness is stubborn, but my love for you is stronger. Just knowing that you wait for me is enough to keep me going. I know how lonely you must be, but I must say this again, do not attempt to find me. The voyage is treacherous and disease runs rampant in this land. If anything were to happen to you, I fear I would not be able to take it. My love, my dearest love, I will return to you soon. So that was the one that we had delivered before. So I guess we can't read the other ones. I guess they're the ones that are from the actual lover. They were all written by the woman in the lighthouse. Oh. And you never thought to deliver them? I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hoax is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land somewhere, and we couldn't bear to tell her otherwise. So we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. Are you gonna keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth now, is it? What about her final request? I don't know. How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. It tells her to wait. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies? You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. Deliver the letter, or 
tell her the truth. It's up to you. That's... Oh, man, this is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do? Alright, just need one more sardine. Rather, I need 11 more, but I'm not going through the others right now. Or... I guess not. I hate these buckets. These buckets are the absolute worst. German sausage, truly. That's ten. Between streams, I'll probably fish up at least ten more. That way I can just turn in the quest next time. I... Do I lie to her? Do I tell her the truth? doesn't she? She just doesn't want to admit it. You! Do you have any further news for my love? dying. There's nothing she can do about that. I... Honestly, that'd be cruel to tell her. These are both cruel, because if I keep the lie going, she'll believe that she's dying before her lover ever reached her. But if I tell her the truth, it'll break her heart. I will tell her the truth, but this isn't exactly something I want to do. This is for you, but... Your love didn't write it. Oh, posh! It's his handwriting, and I recognize the stationery, too. That which you recognize comes from the town's postman and his father, not from your beloved. Are you saying those two idiots wrote all these letters? But... but why? Your lover perished long years ago, and they had not the heart to tell you. Thus, the charade. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. To tell you the truth, part of me had suspected something like this, but it's hard to hear a secret thought finally spoken aloud. I... I think I should be alone for a while. I'd like to ask you a favor. I want you to forget we ever had this conversation. The entire town has worked on this story, and they did so to make me happy. I don't want their hard work to go to waste, so I will carry on as if I am none the wiser. As you wish. Please, tell the postman. Thank you. We will. You have my thanks. Well, this has been a very depressing stream. Between the dog, the old man, the old lady. Just our sister throughout this entire game. This is incredibly freaking depressing. Ah. 
That's rough, buddy. the sea all day and never get bored. Okay. Good for you. What? I got the fish you wanted, Pops. So you did. So you did. Well then, here's a piece of advice for you. Two days later. Well, have your fishing fortunes improved? I sure hope so. We've done nothing but fish for two whole days straight. Your fishing skills have improved. Come, my apprentice. It's time for your next assignment. Wait, when did I become your apprentice? Yeah, I'll accept it. Don't sweat the small stuff, youngin. Now. Your next task is to catch seven blowfish. If you can do that, I'll part with another of my invaluable lessons. Okay. Hey, kid, what was it again? I didn't catch a thing yesterday, which meant dinner. Not you. You. I'm hungry for blowfish, so I brought as many lugworms as I could... Okay, lugworms, got it. I'll buy, like, 50 of them or something. For that, though, I'll go talk to the postman. My leg's still bothering me, so I don't think I can get back to my rounds for a bit. I guess I don't need to. Rough. It's funny how people won't bat an eye about paying more. If you're ready to get. I guess huh? that'll be it for this time. Lighthouse lady. I'll probably stream again tomorrow, if anything. For now, I'll just go around, I'll do any fishing that I need to do. I'll spend my time just farming up and whatnot. Alright. Well, thanks for anyone who came out to the stream and enjoyed it. This one was a depressing one. <sighs> That's rough, buddy.